Hi guys and thanks for clicking on the video. This is the second in the series I'm doing on showing you different ways to tie on your peep sight. I will leave a link at the end of this video to the first one and as I do a few more I'll create a playlist so you can check them all out. Now today I'm going to be working on my Hoyt Carbon Spider Turbo. Um, I've recently changed the sight on it to put a Spot Hog Hogfather on there now and so I had to install a new peep sight to suit that. So I thought what better time than to show you guys the way that I like to use to tie my peep sights in. So as in the first video, I'll go over the tools and show you guys what I like to use. Um, first of all, some of these medical, I think they're called forcep tweezers. Um, basically, you can lock them. So it's like having an extra pair of hands while you're working on the string. Some nice sharp little scissors. Obviously your serving material that you're going to be using to tie it in. Now I'm going to use this orange stuff because it contrasts on the string material a bit better and hopefully that'll show up better in the video. And then of course a lighter so that you can burn the ends when you're done tying your knots. So just like before I'm going to get the camera zoomed in nice and close. I'm going to try and get it on my side so it's looking at the string from my perspective and hopefully that'll give you guys a better idea of what it is that I'm doing. So that when you do give this a try for yourself, you can get it right, hopefully the first time. So I'll get that set up and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. All right, so I've got the piece of serving cut and the first thing we need to look at before we start doing the knot is the direction of the twists in the string. So as you can see, the black half of the string is coming from underneath, going over the top of the peep sight and coming back behind the string over here. Now, if we did our serving in the same direction as that, Basically what that would do is create a serving knot that can easily come undone because it will twist in the same direction as the string. So what we want to try and do is make sure that the twist of the serving is going in the opposite direction to the twist of the string. That way they bind against each other and it'll actually make the knot tighter. So in this case, I'm going to want to start behind the string over here and come around this way. So as you can see, the twists are gonna be going in the opposite direction to the way the string is twisting. So basically to start this off, we need to do the same back serving knot that we used to do the knots in the previous video. So I'll just move the camera over a little bit so that we can see this side of the string because that's where we're gonna start. So in order for us to start the back serving, have the serving material behind the string like this and leave a long enough piece of this tag end that it's going to be easy to grab onto and pull tight afterwards. So once we've got that there, basically what we want to do is make sure that the shorter end is pointing in the same direction as the peep sight and the longer end we want to twist around the string pinching the shorter end against the string like this. So you want to do this a few times. I'm going to go for, say, four or five times. So we've got our tag end pointing towards the peep, and we're twisting around the string, pinching it together with the tag end. Now this doesn't need to be super neat or super tight at this stage because we're going to fix that in a minute. Alrighty, so I've gone around about five times. And what you'll find now if you grab this tag end and you pull it over this way, you'll see how everything cinches up nice and tight together like that. And at this point you want to take that shorter tag end and you want to move it over so that it points in the opposite direction to the peep like that. But the long piece of serving, you still want to continue going around the string in the same direction. So basically, your tag end is now coming out from the serving like that. Now, here I'll go around another four or five times. One, two, three, four, five. And this is where the aesthetics of this knot start to come into it. So basically what we want to do is grab our tweezers, open them up and pinch this 
like that so that's not going to come loose while we do the next bit and this long piece that we've been twisting around the string put it through this hole here and you can bring it around like that now we'll do that a few more times trying to keep the spacing between them nice and neat and about the same size if we can and again you don't have to be super tight when you do this because we're going to tighten it up in a second so I'm going to go for probably about three four or five I, I reckon loops around this because I think that's gonna be how many it takes to get down to the peep site neatly that's one two three do another one four That's looking pretty nice. We can put a bit of tension on it now so that it pulls a little bit tighter on all of these loops that we've made around there. Now the next part that we're going to have to do is try to get this piece of serving pinched in between the peep sight and the string over here. So the way that we'll do that is we'll go one more loop, but this time we'll go on the other side of the peep still on the black piece of serving like that and then we'll pull that tight so that it just goes underneath like that so it's pinched in between the string and the peep sight so we want to put a bit of tension on that now so i try to hold this so the peep sight doesn't slide or anything like that and basically what we've got then is we can remove the tweezers and you can see we've got the first half of the peep sight done so now we need to actually tie the peep sight itself into the string and the way that I like to do that is I take this long piece of serving and I make a loop like this and what we want to try and do is run through the groove that's on the peep sight because that will keep the serving material nice and neat and tidy. So basically I've got a loop and on the other side or the end piece of this longer piece I back onto the peep sight and come around the bottom of the string like that. Then I put that piece through the loop we created and slowly tighten that up trying to make sure that all of the serving material stays within the groove on the peep side that's the tricky part when you do this bit so if you don't get it the first time you're not going to lose tension on the first stuff that you did over here because this is pinched under the peep side and this back serving knot here is holding that tight so sorry if my fingers get in the way but this is a bit of a tricky thing to do we want to make sure like I said that that serving material stays within the groove of the peep side and also make sure that the serving material on the other side has done the same so it looks like it has as you can see sorry about moving that around so much all right so once you've got the loop tied down or tightened down within the grooves on the peep like that basically what I now want to do is pinch this underneath the brown half of the string so I can run these same little grooves down that side of the string and do my back serving knot over there so the way that I'll do that is I'll take the end of this long piece put it through the top V and pull it down towards the peep site making sure that I try to keep as much tension on it this time as I possibly can because we don't want our peep to slide up and down the string afterwards and remember you want to keep an eye on the direction of the twist of the string so you know which way to start coming down this leg 
of your string towards the where you're going to be doing your final back tie knot. So because this black piece is going over the top of the string here, we want to start by coming underneath the brown piece. And remember we're going to do that the same number of times as we did on the top, just to keep things even and looking nice and neat. So there was one, two, three, four loops. So we've got one, two, I'm pinching the serving material between the string and my finger just so that it doesn't move around while I'm doing this. Three. You can sort of slide it with your fingernail to get the spacing a little nicer. And we'll go once more, which will be number four. Just move that over a bit like that. And now we've got to start our back serving. So in order to do that, basically, we go around the string. And we did it four times at the bottom. So we're going to do it four times on this side. So that's one, two, three, four. And now we want to do our back serving. So in order to do the back serving, you make a loop and you carry on serving on the string in the same direction, but over on this side, in towards the original serving you've got on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, because we did five on the other side. And then the end of this piece of serving, put it towards the peep side like that. Remember to keep tension on this loop. And basically you continue wrapping it around the string. And as you wrap it on this side, it'll unravel on that side. So one, two, three, four, five. And then basically what you need to do is pull this tag end, which will bring that loop that you created down towards the string like that. And then when you pull that tight, you can see it cinches itself down on the string really nicely. And then we'll do the same on this side, cinching that down nicely as well. And there we have our nice peep tied in. So you can see it looks fairly neat and tidy. Um, as I said, I use this one on all of the bows that I shoot. I've never had it move. I think it looks nice and neat. And that's pretty much done apart from obviously tying or cutting these bits and burning them so oh, i'm just going to grab the tweezers get a good grip on the string here and just pull this a little tighter and then i'm going to do the same thing to the top one grab the tweezers tie that around Pull it just a little tighter and then we'll cut it. Yes, I still haven't sharpened my scissors and we'll cut this excess off here. I'll grab the lighter. And that, and do the same on this side. Grab the lighter, and that, 
and there we go. Peep tied in, looking pretty good. Give you guys a good look at how that looks. And that's not going anywhere. That's in the string as good as it gets. So that's my preferred way of tying in a peep sight. And as I said before, I really like the way that the knot looks and I find that it's incredibly secure for stopping the peep from moving around in the string. So if you guys decide to follow any of these tutorials, please feel free to send me a photo on my social media. So either Instagram or Facebook showing me the end result of what it is you're doing. Um, if you're finding value out of these videos and you think there's anybody else who might as well, please feel free to share these with them so that they can also have a look and maybe learn a thing or two. And if you have any suggestions for me for any future videos, please feel free to leave those as well. You can contact me, as I said, through Instagram, Facebook or through the YouTube platform and I'll do my best to respond to everybody. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a like or a comment below. Remember to click on the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon if you've not already done so. I hope you guys all have a great week and remember, just do good shots.